You might think that because I host this podcast that life over here in Ben Cloy's world is all perfect and amazing. And there are some chapters that are really good, but just like every dad, there are chapters that are difficult. There's conversations with my kids that aren't easy. There are conversations as I negotiate what I do with my time, what I do with my life. These are not always easy. They're not always easy results either. Some days it's a week of failures. Other days, it's riddled with success. But what do you do when you have a bad day? Now, in my previous life, when I worked in a career and I had everything else that the average person has out there, and I had all these obligations to go somewhere every day, a bad day could really tear me up. I remember that a single day would get me down for a week. I remember reading emails that were like, ugh, man, this again? And I would literally be in my head the rest of the day. I remember driving home and just having this nightmare of a roller coaster in my head, which would be reliving the day of why I suck, why this is the reason I suck, why this is on repeat, why all of these horrible thoughts are true. But what do you do? I remember going through different moments and reviews through quarterly and processes and just being like, ugh, we're here again. I'm back to the same stuck mindset of not knowing how to ask for what I want, get what I want, achieve what I want. These results never seem to be what I truly want or desire. Like these are thoughts that were permeating through my mind and that were permeating through my mind on a daily consistent basis. But again, what do you do when you have a bad day? I've asked that a couple times and I've told a couple different stories. It's time to pivot to what are some of the things that I did when I did have a bad day? One was I realized this trick that I was always into podcasts. You might be listening to this podcast on your commute to work. I would be listening to podcasts on the way to work and on the way home, sometimes an audiobook, sometimes a podcast. But what I realized was if I listened to a podcast on the way home, my mind was extremely active. Sometimes it was good content and it wasn't like it made me negative, but it would make my mind very active and it would prevent me from coming home and enjoying the next transition into my day, which is leaving the day behind and being a dad. So what I did in that moment was I would turn the music off. I would turn the podcast off and I would just sit in silence because what I learned was music or the podcast was like a fulcrum. It allowed my crappy thought to orbit and it always had this consistent orbit around this focal point of the music. But without the music, my mind would kind of wander and it wouldn't be stuck in one thought or another, and it would just kind of float, and it would just have this free-flowing thought from maybe it was a bad thought in one moment, but then it would go to another moment very quickly. So an easy hack, try to turn off all the senses on the way home, pay attention to the road, but just let your environment and your mind wander. That is something that we don't get during the day because of how busy we are, and we often just forget the simplicity to it. The second is ask a few questions of that day. Is the thought that you're having about that day, is it helpful? Is it true? Is it kind? If it doesn't pass those tests, it's something that's definitely not helping you. And often, I didn't have this at the time, but I'm often now giving the advice, why do you talk to yourself in a way you would never talk to someone else? You would never walk into someone else's office and say those things out loud. So why do you allow a narrative about yourself to be such a a Debbie Downer in this case, that you would never talk in a way to be a Debbie Downer to someone else. And finally, I want you to remember some Zig Ziglar advice. That yesterday really did end yesterday. And that today is a brand new day. And it's yours. The Zig Ziglar podcast, which was one of my very first podcasts that I started listening to, had that in the intro. And I'll never forget that reminder that no matter what happened today, it is not a verdict on who you are. It is not a determination of who you are. It is event. It is in a single moment in time. It is not a person. It is an event. And that event did end yesterday. 
There is a reason why the rear view mirror is smaller than the windshield in front of you because your best days are ahead of you, not behind you. I've also had this thought that I've been percolating in my mind about do you have faith in the future that things get better? And it's kind of based on this bias towards are you looking to the past to define who you are or are you looking to future to who you're becoming? And are you having faith in that future every single day? I know it's not always easy, but I've gotten to the point where my growth has happened to where I do truly have faith in the future that it's going to get better every single day. And no matter what happened today, tomorrow is going to be better because I'm not defined who I've been. I'm defined who I'm becoming and leaving behind who you've been allows you to become who you're becoming. So in a long roundabout way, what do you do when you have a bad day? You remember that it ended yesterday, that today As you're listening to this, it is a brand new start to do whatever you need to do, to be whoever you need to be, to let go of what happened, to learn from it and improve and become a better version of you. Guys, that's all I have for you today. And I'll be back again with you guys to do it all over again tomorrow.